Hi hey guys, got another video here for you. This one's called Win7 Anti-Spyware 2012. Now there is an old variant of this, uh, but this one is a new one. It's pretty much the same as the old one really, so all they've done is uh, snazzed up the uh, graf graphics here, or the GUI interface as you can see. Uh, it's got a bit more colour to it down the bottom, and the shield's changed. And also they've changed a few things to stop you from doing certain things, as in renaming files and stuff like that. I'll show you that a little bit later on. But first off, pretty much it blocks everything as you can see. Blocks Task Manager, Internet Explorer. But then it, you shut the box down and it does open. Uh, Firefox it blocks and everything else. But Internet Explorer seems to be one of the favourite ones to try and get around it. Um, CMD it gets blocked on all those reg edit and everything else will get blocked as well now this doesn't run inside uh, safe mobile networking so that would be the best place to get rid of it so what I'd advise you to do first off is to reboot the system into safe mobile networking I'll put the instructions up on the screen right now so you can see how to do that it's pretty straightforward and remove it from there okay so as you can see we've got some uh, bogus um, bogus stuff on the screen here saying you've been infected um, it's all pretty much uh, fake really it just gives you loads of pop-up boxes on the screen this is what's going to constantly happen you get them down the right hand side here and everything else um, pretty much as you can see you click on these gives you these little boxes um, so the first thing I would say is click on this and we'll have a look at the purchase the full uh, product and as you can see it's pretty convincing but don't ever pay for it it is fake and uh, this uses many different names as program I will show you those in a second as you can see you want to purchase now it's all pretty much uh, convincing there but don't pay for it there is a part where you can actually click on the activation and manual activation as you can see here and there's a reg key that you can put in I will post up these reg keys on the screen as you see them now these reg keys may work or they may not if they do work then pretty much what it's going to do is unlock the actual product so you can actually uh, then run programs to kill it but if it doesn't work I'll show you how to get around that anyway so as you can see it's uh, these are the registry keys and then you click on the activate now okay okay so next thing we want to do is uh, get around to renaming files but these this rogue comes under many different uh, names and I'll show you these names right now on the screen you'll see these names now if you've been infected with these names or these rogues with these names then this is the actual uh, way of removing them all of these types okay so let's get started anyway so here we have process explorer and also UVK portable which is a very very powerful tool uh, malware bytes as well none of these will run as you can see click on them nothing happens okay so all we need to do here is I'll show you how to rename these basically if you can't see this executable part here which is the one that you want to rename I'll show you how to get around that you need to go to my computer here or computer go to organize and in folder and search options here and then come up to view and then you want to make sure you're showing hidden files and folders by default it will be there so just put the dot inside show hidden files and folders and drives and also you want to take the tick out of hide extensions for known file types and then apply an OK okay so once you've done that you should be able to see extensions now now the old method was to do win log on like so and that would be normally good enough but this new variant doesn't allow that to run as you can see it won't work and this will be the same for iExplore and uh, stuff like that it just won't work so if you put iExplore.exe and say yes to that I've already got one of those on the desktop as you can see but it won't run anyway and also you know SVC host or anything like that won't work .exe none of these work but what it does do is you can actually use a .com which will work so if I wanted to change this now I just change the .exe to .com like so 
say yes to that this changes the icon but don't worry about that it will still run and uh, we've changed the name also to svchost.com it doesn't really matter as long as we get it to run and as you can see we've got a perfectly running uh, process explorer now which is ideal because we can see the culprit here and uh, we can now kill that off okay so let's try uh, uvk also if you wanted to leave it as the name you could do that and just change the .exe or you can rename the whole thing whatever floats your boat really but pretty much same thing this won't run either unless you rename it but it will run once you change it to .com like so okay so let's go ahead and get the actual process here and kill it off now I'm going to kill this process in one fell swoop so it gets rid of it and you'll see it disappear behind so I'm just going to pull this into position and uh, right click on this this is the culprit here and as you can see it's saying Microsoft Corporation so I mean that's what they're saying the file is but it isn't so what we're going to do here is uh, kill process and delete say yes to that and that one's now done now occasionally you're going to get this because it hasn't fixed the actual um, part that we need it to do so we still can't run applications and I've removed the actual virus it's actually now gone or the rogues now gone but it's damaged what we need to fix there's a couple of ways around that you can actually use the exe fix okay and I will put a link in the description you can use this to fix it and this will fix that so you can actually run things or we can use this program which is a very powerful tool as well system repair engineer you see me do a video on this a long long way back um, and it hasn't had many views but it's a very powerful tool now if I try to run this it won't run because the program is still causing that uh, rogue is still causing issues it's made some changes so I'm going to rename this and call this dot com so we can get around our issue say yes to that and there we have the program it's changed but I'm going to run this open this up and this is the program you'll see okay I'm going to go down to system repair here and you can see that it's a brought up error it's saying that status is an error on the .exe part and that's because the rogue has changed it it's just changed this area okay you can see it's been changed and what we're going to do is fix that that's whatever errors you see here you can just use and put the tick it will just tick these for you so I'm going to click repair here and pretty much close it off and we should now be up and running there you go and we Internet Explorer is now fixed and all we need to do now is run some scans so first off I'm going to use this new because I haven't used this in my videos it's a very very powerful uh, tool as well I'm going to quickly install this and this is quite powerful to, to remove a lot of infections on the system and also malware bytes again can't do without malware bytes it's a very powerful tool and I'm not just saying that but it really is it's one of the best go-to tools to remove malware so we're going to use a, the 30 day free trial I'm going to say next to this unless you purchase it now if you haven't purchased anything like this malware bytes pro version or something like this paid for version is well worth getting because it will stop you getting these types of infections it will block them from getting on the system so they're a real must and what I'm going to do while that's working away I'm going to run malware bytes now I'd advise you only run one scanner at a time um, I always do an update first let the update go and then run the scan but as I said you know run one scanner at a time I'm just going to do two here just to save time for the video and I want to show you the process anyway just to make sure that everyone understands it it's pretty straightforward so I'm going to go back here clean the computer and it will give you some options here you'll see me flicking backwards and forwards from malware bytes to this so deep scan I'm going to go for I'm going to go next here you can do a quick scan if you want or maybe I would advise to do a deep scan but I'm going to do a quick scan just for this video okay so do a scan here and also this is nearly done now go to scanner and then we're going to do a full scan with malware bytes okay and also another good tool to use again don't be running these all in one go 
you know TDSS killer always make sure that you haven't got no root kits on the system these things sometimes drop root kits in and sometimes they don't but it's always best just to check make sure you're fully cleaned okay so run T TDSS killer very powerful tool once that's done pretty much you can know that's cleaned off or, and at the end you can always uh, empty your restore points and uh, clean all the C cleaner off just to make sure there's no more infections left on the system Hitman Pro another very powerful tool uh, to use and I'll show you a quick look at that this is the actual Hitman Pro version the it's on a trial license this one's run out but is a very powerful tool as well and it uses these types of scanning software uh, to remove okay and you can see that software there very powerful okay I'm gonna leave this running this is going through the motions here another thing to check if you're having issues with your browser and you're still getting redirected you want to come up to tools here and you want to go internet options and you want to go to connections and then come down to land settings always check your proxies make sure there's not been a proxy added to this okay and make sure that they're removed if they are and then you should be okay there you can check your host file now remember before let me just remove these down to put these down here I use this tool here and it's a good tool because it also shows you other stuff okay that you can fix and we've been through this in my previous videos if you haven't seen it uh, have a look uh, it's a very powerful tool as I said um, but you've got a lot of good stuff in here to run some stuff if you watch my video you'll see all about it the shell uh, browser add-ons you can disable stuff here host file you can also check your host file if you're having issues and delete and renew it okay so all in all very good for removing malware okay so what I'm going to do now is start to wind this video up and uh, end it off so anyway, I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button, show your support. Also, rate and favourite for all my videos. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate all the support you're giving me. And uh, I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks a lot. See you later.